Let me ask you something. Who wouldn't want this every single day? Uh oh. probably will ever taste in your life and you can have it every single day of your life and all you need is this thing right here. What I have in here is a sourdough starter and you can make it at home. This is the natural leavening agent that they use to make sourdough bread. So basically the way bread was made forever. Not those tiny little yeast packets, those dry active yeast. Those are bullshit, okay? Once you get into the sourdough game, the actual natural leavening agent, this stuff is a million times better. It's healthier for you. It's what you need to make the good stuff. Now here's the thing, to have your own sourdough starter, you have to really be responsible. You gotta tend to this thing like it's a baby. You gotta feed it every single day. And this is made up of flour and water, that's it. You measure out equal parts flour and water. You actually don't even have to measure it out. You just put in water and flour until you get like a nice thick pancake batter. And the consistencies, you know, they can change. Some people like them thicker, some people like them thinner. But the bottom line is you're mixing flour and water every single day and eventually when it's active it's going to bubble up real nice and then you use some of that to make your bread. But if you're just feeding something every single day it's going to get huge and you don't want that. It's like a baby if you're just feeding it it's got to you know it's got to let something out the other side. So you've got to let something out of this leavening agent which means you gotta dump it off somewhere. And in the beginning of making my sourdough starter, I gotta admit, I was just pouring this thing right into the trash because I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't wanna make bread every single day. And there's other things you can make with it. You can make pancakes and waffles and all types of things that use a leavening agent but I wasn't making that either every single day. But recently I figured out the best thing to do with it, which is to just pour it right into a pan and make a scallion pancake. So let me just take you through real quick what I do every single day when I have to pour some of this off. First I turn on the flame to about a medium heat. You want a nice consistent heat on your pan. I whip out the cast iron, but you can use any pan you want. The cast iron just retains that heat so you get that nice, even crispiness. I like to give my cast iron just a little seasoning with some oil just to give it that nice nonstick coating. So I'll let that heat up and then I'll add a little bit of extra oil and I'll just pour that pancake right on and you are trying to fry this baby up nice. And you'll see it starts to bubble just like a pancake. And it doesn't have to be a scallion pancake, you can do a regular pancake, but since we're using a savory dough, you don't have any sugar in here, I find that the scallions just give it such a nice flavor. Take those and sprinkle them on the uncooked side and they're just going to stick in there real nice. And then I also add a little bit of sesame seeds for some extra flavor as well. Once that bottom is nice and crispy, I'll just add a little bit of oil to the top and flip it over. And you're going to continue to cook it till that gets crispy. I would say it's about three to four to five minutes aside, depending on your heat level. So you really have to just control the heat, see where this thing takes you. Just make sure you don't burn it. That thing is ready to come out and it's looking so delicious. And that's actually not burnt. That is nicely caramelized scallions. You can see some of those sesame seeds toasted up real well. And you'll see I chop into this thing and it has the most interesting texture that I have ever tasted on a pancake or a bread product. Kind of like chewy on the inside and then super crispy on the outside, which is just what you're looking for with a sky and pancake. So I find that works really, really well with this. And then what I'll do is just mix up a really quick dipping sauce. All you have to do is add a little bit of soy sauce, take some vinegar. I have some nice black vinegar here and then add a little bit of sesame oil and that's a perfect dipping sauce for your scallion pancake.
I love scallion pancakes and I really didn't think they could get any better. But this, I think, tops it. It's so sour, so much flavor. I haven't gotten sick of it in like three weeks. I make it every day and it's delicious. Now here's the deal. I have another video on making actual sourdough bread. I've been pretty obsessed with it recently and I know a lot of you are starting your own starters out there or maybe you're brand new to the game. All you have to do is just mix together flour and water in equal parts by weight. Just mix that together until it's well incorporated and you're gonna be doing that twice a day so you're probably not making that much bread. So make sure you do not throw away your sourdough starter because the truth is, this stuff is really good for you. It's fermented batter, fermented dough. So don't throw it away, put it in your belly because you're gonna have a lot of health benefits from eating this and it's freaking delicious. It's a scallion pancake or you could use it to make waffles, to make pancakes, to make other types of delicious treats. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tip and I'm gonna be coming out with more sourdough videos, I'm sure, because I'm constantly refining, constantly figuring out what to do with this stuff. Maybe I'll get sick of the scallion pancake soon. I'm sure one day I'll get sick of it. Maybe not, I haven't gotten sick of scallion pancakes to, I don't know, for the last like 15 years of my life. I've been pretty obsessed. Make some sourdough starter, get into bread making, it will change your life for any fermenting project so much fun. Try it out, guys.